A Springfield mom says she's concerned about her child's mental health going back to school during the pandemic. Local providers say she's not alone. Good evening and thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Heather Lewis. Our David Chazanov spoke with Burrell Behavioral Health and the Ozarks Counseling Center. David, how busy have they been during this health crisis? Well, Heather, both providers tell me numbers have certainly increased, but that does not mean that they can't help. They say this is a time of high anxiety for kids and their parents. Christy Cross's daughter, Emily, goes to Cherokee Middle School in Springfield. My daughter has ADHD and an IEP and anxiety issues, and she's being required to wear a mask all day. So there's there's that issue. This school year, the eighth grader chose to take in-person classes two days a week and learn virtually three days a week. You're talking about a child who already has enough struggles self-esteem, traumas, you know, all these things in her life. And then we're going to throw this on her and then not have, have her around her friends and with her teachers. Luckily for Christy, a single mom, Burrow Behavioral Health has been helping her daughter cope with stressful life changes. Amy Hill says Burrow offers therapy, support specialists, and psychiatry, mostly through Zoom. But face-to-face -face can happen if appropriate. If we have a parent or a student who's interested in accessing our school-based services, they can certainly do that through, through a variety of ways. Like reaching out to their school counselor or administrator, going to Burrell's website, or calling its main line. Here in Southwest Missouri, it's 417-761-5000. We work with all funding sources, um, and we have a lot of grants, and so money should never be a reason why a kiddo can't get service. The Ozarks Counseling Center believes in the same motto. It offers talk therapy for older kids and play therapy for youth. Executive Director Andrea Bishop explains what parents should share when calling for treatment. We're interested in, of course, the symptoms that the child or adolescent is experiencing so that we can match the child to a therapist who will be right for their needs. So it's not difficult. During the, the therapy process, we'll help the child communicate to the parent what's going on if it's not readily apparent. Mercy also has a virtual mental wellness kids program, which means kids who need to see a mental health specialist have immediate access via a video visit. But more often than not, providers can help without the need for a video call. 